Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. Today we're back with an awesome video for you guys because this is one of the most asked questions I get from all of my viewers. What is the best golf swing analyzer system for my golf simulator? All right, I have people that are always asking about cameras and software and what can be, what works together, what can be packaged, what's best for me. Well, I'm here to give you guys a first look at Swing Catalyst. So I've actually done a lot of research for what I wanted to add it in the GSV Studio. And with the addition of my Foresight Sports GC Quad, I actually found out that Swing Catalyst can actually pull the data in from my GC Quad into their software. But actually talking to them, I learned a lot. So one, if you guys are looking for a system like this, I've actually been in contact with the North American director and I can connect you with him. My email is always below. So feel free to shoot me an email. I'll connect you with him for the best pricing and information. But you know, really what they do is they do a full consultation with you, okay? So we talked about the GSV Studio, the sizing I have, the means that I have, and we ended up going with one of the cameras that they have, which is a FLIR camera. It's a black fly USB 3. But what's interesting is, is this isn't a swing catalyst camera. So they actually are a software company and they actually partner with a few different camera companies to actually work with what is best for their users, but also what their software is built around. So a lot of people might run out and grab a camera on Amazon or eBay or anything and uh, you know try to get it working with different software. They have struggles. Sometimes, a lot of times these cameras are overrated, honestly, and they don't perform well. Well, what they've done is they kind of did that in reverse. They found the best cameras they could. They developed the software to be able to unlock the full capabilities of these cameras and and that way you get the best quality and features okay to use them now let's just talk a little bit about the camera that i chose now they also have a gig e camera that works with ethernet and you can use like a pci card and a desktop um, you know things along those lines there's other options but this is a usb uh, based camera I actually it was lucky I have a Thunderbolt USB hub that gave me available USB ports. They need to be the, the high speed ports. OK, just understand that. But they'll help you consult with all that for what would be best fit for your studio. So whether it be a personal studio or advanced swing coach studio, it, it, it works for both. OK, so um, just understand that this camera here that I'm using is a 226 frame per second camera. That's going to give you that smooth, slow motion because of the high frames. OK, but it has a 1.6 megapixel uh, Sony. IMX273 sensor, which is a 1440 by 1080 resolution, all right, full color, but the global shutter inside of this camera allows you to, with a balance of the proper light and settings, for every one of those frames, be able to freeze that image. And that was, that's what really eliminates blur, okay? People don't quite understand that. They think it's all about frames per second. And really, all frames per second allows you to do is, is allow, allows you to miss less for every frame you're seeing, but every frame has to be able to be frozen. Okay, so it's a clear image. And that's where they've balanced this really, really well for a price point that I think is fantastic. Okay, this camera retails at $595. All right, so um, just understand that they've worked out, you know, some buying power along with the setup that you get. This comes with really nice high-end 15-foot-long USB cables. It comes with a, a tripod, mount, tripod mount, and then also comes with this global shutter lens that you're gonna find is very important because it's a varial focal lens. It's actually a 2.8 to 10 millimeter lens. And I talked to them about my studio, which is only seven feet ball to wall. All right, but this lens, because it's that varial focal, works in my environment, but also can work in a much larger environment where someone might want to use the zoom. All right, so just understand there's a lot of things that you know you just you want to know before you purchase a system. And what's nice is is they've kind of done all that homework for you, and that's really what sold me on the system. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of a brief overview of who Swing Catalyst is and kind of what we're working with here today. But really what we need to go over is, is the software. I mean, the software is incredible, not only just for the personal user and what you can do, but also for the most advanced swing coach or studio with multiple coaches, whatever it may be. I mean, the potential this thing has is just unbelievable. All right. so. They also have balance plates um, that allow you to work with ground forces that connect to the system. Now, that's not something that I have, um, but just know that that's available. But let's dive into the software and just kind of show you guys, you know, a brief overview of everything. Take a couple swings so you guys can see the videos and how they can be used in conjunction with each other. All right. Uh, you know, different search features, all those things. Let's dive right in. So I'm going to turn off my normal recording camera. All right. And I'm going to turn the lights on in the studio 
um, and that way you guys can actually just see me through those. But first thing first, I wanna kinda give you a nice brief overview of the settings that are available inside of here so you can understand how this just unlocks all of the features you would ever need. So obviously units adjustments, they have notifications where you know it'll enable a sound. If you wanna know, make sure the camera's ready to record. Um, video rendering and encoding options, all right, that, that GPU NVIDIA H64 codec is probably gonna be what most people pick. Um, licensing information, you can pick where your database is stored. There's all kinds of branding options, and I'm gonna show you why that's so important here in just a little bit. Very, very cool stuff, especially for a commercial environment or a swing coach, but even for you know someone personal like me, um, you know, it's, it's really cool what you can do. So I'm gonna go to the camera section and go to advanced really quick, all right? And I'm gonna show you, let's turn on these lights. So now we have a preview of one of my cameras. And I'm gonna show you guys why, when you are paired with the right software, why it's so important. Because when one, not only can you come in here and you can name your camera, you know, pick what angle it is, this is a down the line camera, but check this out. When you go into the settings, you can mirror the camera, you can rotate the camera, depending on how you're mount mounting it, you can crop them. So in my studio, I like cropping them and then just kind of stretching and filling the image because I don't want like my light on the side coming in or anything that's more than necessary. All right, full cropping capabilities, every setting you can think of to unlock the full quality capabilities of your camera, whether it be that exposure shutter, the frame rate, the gain, the gamma, the black level, all right, the white balance, all right. Um, they have even have region of interest settings, all right, where you can adjust those. Filters, sharpening, you know, denoising, all kinds of different things, all fully unlocked for the user to tweak and maximize the capability of this hardware. So I think that's really, really cool, and that's what makes powerful software so important when you're talking about, you know, golf swing analyzing, um, you know, in general with cameras. All right, so if we go under hardware, what is that? Well, let me tell you, this is one of the coolest parts. I'm gonna scroll up to the top here. Not only do they have sensor plates that you can, you know, uh, combine with the software, but launch monitor. If you have TrackMan, FlightScope, Full Swing Simulator, Foresight GC2, GC Quad, GC Hawk, or SkyTrack, they actually allow that launch monitor to be synced with the software and use it as a trigger. And in my case with GC Quad and full club and ball data is being pulled into the software and tagged with the video. It's really incredible and I'll show you how that works here in just a few minutes. So the trigger device can also be set with just a microphone on your computer if that's something that you need. All right, there are some advanced options like lighting control and things in your screen settings. Um, just little things like what, what screen you want it to be displayed on, you know, scaling and DPI for font sizes and stuff. And then less than audio device. I'm going to show you how that works in a second too, but if you have a microphone, you will want to be able to record lessons with a microphone. It's really, really cool. So let's just go to analyze. I know you guys are going to want to see some swings. Let's go over profile really quick. This is where you would add either all your personal profiles, whoever's using the system, or in a commercial environment or coaching environment, you want to add all your students. And the reason is because if you put their email in there and name and everything, one, you can search your database so easily to pull them back up. But also, if your email's in there and you're gonna send them a lesson, it's already pre-filled, it's easy to send out, okay? So just understand that. But let's just go ahead and go into the main menu. I'm already, you can see I'm logged into my cloud account. Why is the cloud account so cool? Well, you can pull in professional swings to compare with yours. You can store lessons, okay? You can actually use their app to work maybe out on the range remotely and then you can download that in your software later on, okay? It goes two ways and it's amazing, okay? You can have people send you things right inside your inbox here, inside of uh, Swing Catalyst. I mean, all kinds of cloud capabilities, just understand they're there. You can import a video file that someone emails you, open one that you recorded before, or just start a new capture. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start a new capture. All right, so I have a nine iron sitting here that I'm gonna uh, grab because I have it stickered up so we're gonna see full ball and club data. <clears throat> now just understand, I actually selected this ahead of time, but you do want to select what club you're hitting because it has amazing features in its file explorer where you can actually filter things out. If you wanted to search for just drivers or just irons or a specific iron, you can even search by carrier, spin rate or smash factor, even a rating that you give each video, all right? It allows you so many options for finding the videos that you want. You always wanna properly tag them so you can do that, all right? So there's also export options. You can do just the video or you can do the video with the data, all right? And you can export those really easily, all right? So just understand that, that that's simple to do. 
And then now we're ready to go. I'm just in this single uh, capture mode right now, I believe. It's actually multi-capture, and we'll leave it in multi-capture. You can do a multi-capture with replay where it replays the swing after, or you can do a single capture with replay, all right? But yeah, multi-capture is perfect because it just allows you to keep hitting, and I wanna hit two shots, and that way we have two videos to work with. So let's just go ahead and just you know make two easy swings here. So we have something to work with, and I apologize, guys. I did not warm up for this video. Um, so we'll just do two simple swings. All right, just a simple nine iron. Looks like it was fair at best, <laughs> but that's okay. It's going to buffer up and get ready for the next swing. And now I can see I'm ready to go. Now just understand, and I can show this at the end, I could be hitting into like my FSX range right now if I wanted to. I don't have to be hitting into Swing Catalyst. I could have this running in the background. I could have it running on a, a sec, uh, second monitor. Okay, so just understand all those things are available for you, okay? It works right in the background. Someone could be playing, you know, golf simulator software and recording swings the whole time, you know, out on the course. So let's take one more swing here. All right, two simple swings. That actually was a really square shot. Uh, felt really, really good. Yeah, face to target was zero on that. So squared that one up nicely. So we have two swings to work with, which is really nice. And I'm gonna open those up so you guys can see those. All right, so let's just open. And now down here, this is called the stack. This is where your swings are located. So you can see you have one swing there and one swing here, and it actually gives you a preview of them, not only the video, but you know the club type, the club speed, the carry, you know everything. So um, you can see all of that right here. Now, if you double click on it, it's actually going to load it into the preview pane. And this is where things get really cool. Remember I was talking about how this syncs up with the quad? Well, check this out. So I actually have my club path information, like face angle, dynamic loft, okay? My club path. Um, I have my attack angle. I have my face to path, my club speed, my ball speed, my smash factor, my spin access, my spin rate, my launch angle, my launch direction, my ball speed. It's all here. It's incredible. Okay, so you even have ball flight. I'll show you that really quick. And let's go ahead and just play this in 25%. It goes much slower, but this will give you guys an idea of what the quality of the video looks like. Now, like I said, I've, I've cropped and adjusted this, you know, kind of for what I like in my studio, you can do it for what you like in yours as well. Do you want it brighter? Do you want it darker? Whatever it may be, but you know, I, I like how this looks. Notice how you're seeing the ball flight, both the carry and how far offline that was. 3.2 feet, that was actually a really good shot for uh, just taking a couple nine irons. I, maybe I should swing a little softer every day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, let's go ahead and just scrub this so you guys can see the quality of the frames. So let's just go through the takeaway really quick. Let's say someone was looking at that right video to kind of see where that, that face position is, that takeaway. Look how clear that is, all right? And I don't have perfect lighting. I'm in a very dark environment, all right? And I'm using, for the most part, just the base settings that they tell you to use. Let's say I want to look at the top of my swing here, all right? Now you'll notice those little question marks. What are those? What those are is those are your bookmarks for takeaway, for top of swing, and impact. Now you do want to set those and there's multiple ways to do it. There's hotkeys where you can just hit control one, two, and three, or you can go into your bookmark setting here. And this is actually really cool because what it allows you to do is, is it allows you to just go ahead and find the takeaway position and then find the top of the swing, which is right here. And I'm just clicking and dragging these and then finding the impact position. Okay. And the reason that you want that is, is if you're syncing videos later on, or you want to very easily use hotkeys such as the number one, two, and three. Look how easy it is to go to different positions. All right. So let's that you know that covers a lot of that side of things. You can go all the way down to like five. Uh, you can go down to one percent. I think five percent is very slow. But if I wanted to start it at the one position, I can hit my space bar, which is a hotkey, just to kind of start that for you guys. Get that speed thing out of the way for you. Here's five percent. And I want you just to kind of pay attention to, you know, how clear and smooth 5% is. I mean, I think any, you know, personal user or swing coach would agree that that's just a fantastic image. All right. And it's really giving you so much capabilities of looking at things. Now, let's say that you wanted to look at that top of the swing. So I'm just going to hit the number two. Let's say you wanted to use some drawing tools. 
I'm just going to select uh, a line tool and let's say that they wanted to draw this club and say, well, you know, that's that's taking it back a little too far. All right. So it's easy to do that. Let's say they wanted to point to my, my wrist position. All right. So I'm just going to kind of point an arrow. All right. Let's say they wanted to free draw, you know, and just kind of draw down my body for some reason. All right. They even have things such as, and I'm going to have to get rid of everything really quick, but it's like a sway tool, which I think is pretty cool. And this is more for like your face on, but you can just place this accordingly. All right. And you can adjust that however you want. All right. I mean, obviously the sizing and everything's going to be different. And then you can play it, you know, or scrub it and, and check sway of the player. All right. I think that's a, a really cool tool that you don't see at a lot of things uh, or in, in a lot of software, I should say. Um, if you were someone who likes to measure angles, um, you can do that. All right. They have an angle tool. That's really cool. Um, so you would essentially just point there and then point there and it says it's 129 degrees. All right. Very, very cool. They even have a measurement tool, which you have to have a point of reference, which is actually be pretty easy to use because let's say I know that this is 36 inches. You use that as a point of reference and then it allows you to measure anything on the screen. I thought that was cool. Text tool. You don't see this that often. I could just say, you know, nine iron, you know, first swing, whatever it may be. Um, you can do things like that. Um, but where it gets really, really cool is, is you can record lessons. Okay. So let me just, we're going to kind of, you know, rewind what we were doing a little bit there, but I really want to show you guys this feature. It, it's amazing. So, and I'm going to actually be kind of doing this all at once while I'm recording the screen and doing a lesson. And then I'll just kind of play it back so you guys can hear it. So if I hit record lesson, it gives me a record button. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit that and I'm going to pretend that I'm giving you, giving you guys like a mi little mini lesson or something. All right. So, Hey Jay, I'm looking at your first swing here. Um, let's just go to the takeaway position and let's just watch your takeaway really quick. And you know how you're taking that, that club back. I like how you've changed things. I like where that positioning is. Um, you know, you can see right here, we've been working really hard on that. Um, you know, I, I, I do like. Uh, I do like this, this angle I'm seeing on your arm right here. Okay. Um, that's something we've been working on. I like how you're, you know, you're standing upright, uh, things along those lines. Um, you know, I could, I could type on here. I could do things like that. Um, you know, I could go to that third position really easy at impact. You know, I know we've been working on your impact position and I noticed, you know, kind of where your hands are. Um, you know, they're getting a little bit out in front of the ball now, which is great. All right. Uh, you've been doing a good job. I want you to work on this. I want you to work on that. All right. So I just finished, you know, that little one minute video, right? Well, that's a full lesson that coaches can give their students or a personal user could say, Hey coach, take a look at the swing. I've been working on things. Do you feel like this is getting closer? Okay. And then send it to a coach. You got to remember it works both ways, but check this out. Now I'm going to have to kind of be quiet here because this is going to be playing in the background. But notice all the branding that I told you guys about. Look how it gives you all this, not only in the beginning, but at the end of the video. I'll show you. So let's just go ahead and hit play for a second. All right. So, hey, Jay, I'm looking at your first swing here. Um, let's just go to the takeaway position and let's just watch your takeaway really quick. And, you know, how you're taking that, that club back. I like how you've changed things. I like where that positioning is. Um, you know, you can see right here, we've been working really hard on that. Um, you know, I, I, I do like, like, all right, I went ahead and hit pause. Tell me this is not awesome, guys. I mean, you can send this video right off. Now, here's some more branding right at the end. All right. But you can save this to your disk. You can send this via email. Simple as this. Look at this. Just type in whatever you want. And I apologize. Um, you know, I shouldn't have emails in there that way, uh, you know, let's kind of I'll blank those out, you know, in my editing program, but you can email this right off to people. Okay. Um, you know, you have your subject, your body, and then it just sends it right off. I mean, it's, it's really, really awesome. Now here's where it gets really cool. You can actually share it to your YouTube, whether you want it to be public or not listed. Okay. And then you can send the YouTube link to someone an email. All right. So I think that's fantastic for longer videos. That's probably something you want to do. And then you can also upload it to your cloud. All right. So very, very cool stuff. All right. Now, what else do we want to go over over on the right hand stack? I just want you to understand that there are a lot of things that you can do. You can just leave something empty if you want. All right. You can add different launch monitor, obviously, with all the different tabs, um, tempo and rhythm. 
This will be blank until you set up these bookmarks. Once you set those up, then it's actually measuring that speed of your backswing and downswing, and then it's showing that I'm in that ideal you know, tempo and rhythm, which is a great thing, okay? So that's tempo and rhythm, and then there's even a comment section, so I can leave comments that, you know, you're doing much better, you know, uh, nine iron, and this was done, you know, lesson one, whatever it may be, you know, things like that. So let's go over layout really quick. So I'm gonna change this back to launch monitor, okay? We'll change it back to, what all do we have selected? Club path there. Um, and I'm gonna go to data centric really quick. All right, now what it does is it allows you to just increase the size of everything over here. So if I wanted to make that ball flight just a little bit bigger, I wanted to look at that club path, all right? And wanna check out that face angle and path, all right? Um, I'm telling you, one of my better swings of the year. <laughs> um, you know, swing uh, or spin, I mean, you have spin access and then uh, spin rate and then flight. You can just look at these so much easier in that data centric view. OK, now you have ability to compare swings and even do video overlay. And I'll just show you how compare works really quick. So you can actually take your second video and put it up in viewport B. All right. And you'll see here that I haven't actually set my bookmarks for that video B. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my bookmarks really quick. So let's go ahead and just go to my takeaway position. Let's go to the, that's about my top. And then let's go to impact right there. And then once those are set, I can actually go right here and I can just have these synced to the takeaway position. All right, and it's gonna do that automatically for you. So I'm gonna hit play now, and you guys are gonna see that you're actually watching both swings, all right, at a 5% slow motion, all right? How cool is that? My backswing was, if you can believe this, was actually the same, 908 for both. I mean, that's how similar those were. Very, very similar, all right? So I just want you guys to understand that you can compare swings all right, drag them back and forth, things like that. And then you can also do overlays if you wanna you know, take another video and overlay it another one. All right, so tons of options, all right, in, inside of the comparison views, all right. Um, you know, I think we've gone over all the data points. And then what we'll do is we'll just go back to capture really quick, because I wanted to keep this, this video somewhat relatively brief because there's just so much to cover, all right. And then we'll just hit that really quick and then I'm going to come right over here so you guys can see me and I'm sure it's going to be uh, that's not not too bad um, so really you know I, I try to give you guys a first look of swing catalyst and I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think and what you'd like to see I think I'm going to bring in a PGA instructor and we'll try to kind of give a little mini lesson using swing catalyst that way he can show you the way that he would you know uh, give a lesson and the tools that he would use and things he would point out so you guys can not only use them personally, but if you're a swing coach that's actually looking for a golf analyzer system for your studio, you can understand how you would use Swing Catalyst and you know the different tools that are available for a coach, uh, and you know how to uh, you know apply them essentially. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. You know I apologize this went over 20 minutes. You know it's a long video, but there's just so much to show, and I'll continue to do some videos here in the future. I'm gonna get more comfortable with the software learn a little more things about it and I'll be sure to keep you guys in the tune, you know in tune to things that are going on but I want you to comment below and let me know what you'd like to see you know it gives me ideas of what you guys are looking for and I'll try my best to cover them so as always I appreciate you guys watching and we'll talk to you soon